Joy here, holistic nutritionist. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make my peaches and cream smoothie bowl, which is just perfectly sweet enough. The top has the right amount of crunch. It's super good for you and really, really tasty. Before we get started, I just wanna thank Breville for sending me this awesome kitchen appliance. So this is called a Blucer, and you might guess that it's a combo between a juicer and a blender, hence the name. So basically it's two appliances in one. So that's what I used to make my smoothie bowl today. And using the Blucer just made it so easy because the base of my smoothie is orange juice. So I didn't have to get out a juice extractor and then a blender, I've just got one appliance. So the liquid base of my smoothie is orange juice, so obviously I wanted to juice my own oranges. Peel your oranges. If you don't want, you don't even have to cut them up because the blucer has a nice wide spout that you can put the oranges in. So I first juiced all my oranges, uh, and then I took that same jug and put it back on top of the blucer, and then I start adding all of my ingredients that are within my smoothie bowl. So I've got lots of peaches, which is awesome right now because peaches are in season. They're rich in vitamin C. They've got lots of fiber. Keep the skin on. Then we're gonna add some cashews, which add that good fat. I've used unroasted and unsalted cashews. Next, I'm adding some hemp hearts, and hemp hearts are a really, really great source of plant-based protein, good fat, and they're also, this smoothie is rich in fiber too, but not like the bloat kind of fiber, like the fiber that's very good for your digestive system. Since this is a peaches and cream smoothie bowl, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla because it really sort of boosts the flavor of it. Next, I'm gonna add two bananas, and the bananas add that natural sweetness and also add like the bulk to the smoothie bowl, so it makes it like nice and creamy. And then finally, the other part of the liquid to this smoothie is my full fat coconut milk. So you can see all those delicious creamy fats that are going in there right now. Don't be afraid of that fat. That fat is really, really good for you, for your brain, um, for your digestive system, for your immune system. Now we, all we have to do is just blend it up. So this does make two servings. So I've got my two big bowls here. I love the little spout on the jug because it just makes it nice and clean and there's like no mess at all. So portion it out between your two bowls. This is quite a generous size. So this would be like two servings for adults. So if you have little ones, then um, this smoothie will go a long way for sure. And now the fun part, now we get to decorate it. I love decorating my smoothie bowls and I really enjoy having like different tastes and textures and everything you'll see that I'm adding is full of vitamins and minerals and fiber and tons of phytonutrients, but also really tasty. So I've chopped up some kiwi, I've got um, some sliced banana, I've added some raspberries, uh, some shredded coconut, unsweetened I should say, unsweetened shredded coconut because this smoothie bowl has a nice, nice natural sweetness. Um, so a few more cashews for that crunch and some granola as well for a little bit of crunch as well. Now I love making my own granola, but if you don't want to make your own, that's fine too. Just sprinkle um, some store-bought granola on top. So there you have it guys, your peaches and cream smoothie bowl. It's fulfilling, it's delicious, it's nourishing. Your belly will be smiling with joy. So the full recipe is in the description box here. If you guys like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the little bell, because that means you'll get a notification when I have a new video. Subscribe to my channel, questions, comments below, and have a joyous day. Bye!